How long did you know on the cafe for, say, CJ? Eh, uh, about a year then went to jail, lad. Went to jail, give everything he owned to my youngest brother. Who robbed me for it? What can you do, lads? <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> so anyway, I've gone to jail, haven't I? All the madness kicked in. Gone to jail. I've got this cafe. I give it to my brother, my youngest brother, tell him, look, there's a queue in my hands. So you've got 240 cash, basically, there. You've got that property there. You've got this and you've got them graph phones. So he's landed on his feet, my youngest brother. First of all, sold the graph phones to Ben Baker. <whistles> got a nice number for them because he was in debt or whatever. But then he's gone legit then, fully legit, on the back of the dough I've given. And what, what, when I'm fields, when I'm fields being getting regenerated, you know, the football ground, they've cut, they've pulsely compurchased loads of property around the ground. My cafe and that road the cafe was on being one of the roads that was compulsory purchased by the council so they could rebuild with the ground. So the 50 grand, 55 bags or something like that, that was invested two years after me being an ordinary man in prison. The council have bought it for 190. So with the 190, my younger brother has then again reinvested it in more property. And what he done, he went on top of the St. Domingo Grove, he used to have a threshers, an off license. And above that, you had flats. So he's bought that with the 190, rejigged it, sold it with a profit. With that though, he's gone down the bottom of Robson Street and bought two properties, two shops next to each other. So where the Lucky Friar is and the mini market, you've got three shops on the corner of the same row. Ian's bought them with my doll, knocked the shops into one, made it into an off license, never stocked it, just made it into an off license. And then above, got six flats. He then sold a whole block to Kelly's Wines. Have you seen Kelly's Wines around your area, the off licenses? He sold that block, that shop, and then flat above it to Kelly's Wines. Then he started with the same doll, my money. He started a maintenance firm called M&J Maintenance, which do home improvements, construction, and stuff like this. He also went in and developed a security company and call a security company, Tight Security. And he was smashing it. And he had contracts all legit. Pancake, Spiff, Mark Styles, Spiff's dad, didn't like it. Started getting jealous of Ian and his security business and set their own one up. And when they set their own one up, they went round and blackmailed all people that was contracted to Ian's to swerve Ian and go on to them. Just destroyed Ian's security business on him. And then went out and burnt loads of houses down all over the gaff and got more security contracts off people. And then he just cracked on with his little life mates. He was keeping me informed of all the business deals, how much money was being made on top of my money and blah, blah, and what I'd be expecting when I get out of custody. A year before I'm getting out of custody, I know the difficulties is when money's all tangled up in a big property empire. So I give them warning. I need a lump sum for when I get out so I can invest into my little thing that I'm getting going. Okay, I'll have your money ready. Eight months before I'm out, have you got that sorted? It's in the pipeline, I'm just speaking with the bank now, I'm gonna have it sorted. Six months down the line till I'm out, get it sorted, lad. Four months, is that definitely sorted, lad? Defo, lad, don't worry about it, you lump sum there, you can crack on with your property portfolio. That was my ideas. I'm out. What's happening, lad? You got 50 grand for me there. <laughs> lad, you're a millionaire on the back of me doll. Have you got 50 grand? I've just done it. I've just done 12 off an 18. Have you got me 50 grand at least for now? 
you'd owe me well over a quarter of a mil. But have you got 50 quid for me now? You know, I've just got out of prison, I need something to keep me okay. <laughs> a month and waiting, five grand comes to me. A month, another five grand. Two months, three grand. Three months, four grand. Da, da, da. So I'm like, hang on a minute. You better get my dough or you're getting hurt. I'll call the police. I'll tell the police you're threatening to kill me. As soon as I hear that coming out of the little mouth, <whistles> keep dough, you've lost me. I'm worth well more than I can do, mate. See you in a bit. That's it, sacrifice them. You can replace money. You can't replace brother. And I know he's having moments where he wishes he could turn to me. And that was it, mate. She got bumped by me little brother. <laughs> and you know what? It got to the point. This is it got to a point with the argument. I'm in the right though. I just want to know, you know. I'm looking at you lad, you're in a five bedroom house with a double garage. You got a 30 grand ride up your path. My ma is still in the house that I furnished, that I decorated, and nothing's changed in her house in over a decade. She can't even close her windows properly, she's freezing of a night. Why haven't you even looked after her? Right facing, he's got my house that I had before he went to jail, it's now his. He's got another house on the corner. He's got his old house. He's got an old, he's got a house. He's got five houses around me ma's house and they're all decorated to the nines, fitted kitchens, tiles, blinds. Me ma's living in a dump. So I get out and I'm not happy. I'm screaming at this little spoiled. But I get looked at like I'm the rat here. I'm just causing problems because I've got no money. No, in reality, he never had a pot to piss in. I go to jail and I make him a millionaire. The least I want when I get out is me lump sum I give you to make off. A quarter, at least. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I just jogged him on. That's the way you want to be. And this is what he said. I took nine holes for you. I deserve that money. As soon as I heard that, what he's referring to is when Craig Barker was shot dead, all the bullets that went through Craig ended up in him. And what he what he thought was suitable to tell me 14 years later is, I took eight bullets for you, I deserve all this money. I just went, wow, <whistles> in a bit. That was the first time that I really understood that money can turn anyone. Money can turn anyone. Family or friend. Anyone can be turned with enough money involved. Yeah, so that was it, mate. It's not sad, mate. It's a learning curve. Learning curve. And you know what? My life's been 10 times better without the whole family in it. I cut them off, mate. Not just over money, just over the way they was, the way they're living, the way they were treating people, the way they were, ah. I never left that. When I went to jail, it wasn't like that, lads. Do you understand what I'm saying? That family was not like that. When I've got out, I'm just looking at a gang of selfish, horrible, empty, shallow rats, mate. Honest to God. They wouldn't even look after their own family members until you're on it. I'm looking at this thinking, wow, you know, your ma's on her ass. She's having to ask her son to lend her money. I'm like, wow. You think what? You lend an air doll? Wow, well, I just... Get on my life. You sound like me, you don't even think like me. I'm sure I've got a different dad. I'm saying, been saying it for years to me, ma. Who's my dad? Because it wasn't that prick. I don't even look like these. They all look in deformed and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
you know, it's like, God, man, I don't even look like them. I'm sure I'm the milkman's kid or something, you know. Honest to God. Honest to God, mate, I, I'm, I'm just a completely different breed than my brothers, you know. Always have been. Always been different from my brothers. You ask anyone that knows our family, I've been different from them all, mate. They used to say Danny was different. But he's not. Danny's just like Stephen, mate. Stephen is exactly like Danny. Just a little bit lighter. It's good that you can laugh about it. It's funny, mate. Are you the oldest? No, Billy was. But even Nash can top himself. <laughs> 